Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome on back to the Cool Cat Gang, and welcome to the first match of the Super Mario Odyssey Any% Percent Pro League Playoffs. My name is Anime Arcade, and I am here with the one and only Troy of Athens. Troy, how you doing? I'm doing good. First match of the playoffs. I'm excited. This is very, very exciting. Like... You know, all of that Pro League stuff that we've been working on, it's all been leading up to this, the Pro League playoffs. Today's match is going to be Dansta versus Speed. And uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good one. I'm very excited for it. Yeah. I think we got other runners in here who can tell us how they're feeling, if they're willing to speak. Oh, I don't know who starts with <laughs> um, Yeah, I'm a little bit rusty, but I've, uh, as of what I've heard, speed is a little bit rusty as well. <laughs> um, but So it should be pretty good. Nice. Good, good, good. Speed, how are you doing today? You ready for this race? Are you excited for your first playoffs match? Hey, 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 guys. Happy to be, uh, happy to be qualified here. It's a tight spot, you know? It's only eight people. That's right. All of y'all have been battling to make it to the top, and uh, you did it! You made it! <laughs> <laughs> you guys know if I, like, auto-qualify for next year? Yes. Yay! Nice! <laughs> yeah, you will be qualified into the league itself, if I remember correctly. Yes, exactly. And also, uh, as I already said before we started to stream, Speed's in a good spot here. I have a very bad track record of first playoff matches in the league. <laughs> literally, literally lost all of them so far. Four out of four. So we'll see how this one goes. That's <laughs> considering, wild. yeah, it's funny. Also, considering you have like some control over the formatting, it's it's like you could totally be like, oh, it's best two out of three this season. <laughs> I mean, I'm not alone. Like it's <laughs> like, <laughs> it's Sarah and Matsu and I. Like, <laughs> it's a two, two to one vote. So. Nice. All right. Well, with that being said, if you guys can go ahead and uh, ready up in the race time when you guys are ready to go, and uh, we'll be on our way. We'll get that clock counting down. We'll get those time zones changed. All the fun things. A reminder: get those predictions in too, because. I mean, now now I'm seeing some good predictions on both sides, but before it was there was like nothing on Dan stuff. It's true. So yeah, now we got a few. Oh, Saren, that is a wonderful question that you're asking there. So these runners are going to be changing their system time to a few minutes before something called daylight savings time. And once it hits daylight savings time, their switch clock is going to jump forward an extra hour. And that's important because they'll be planting a seed in Sand Kingdom before that hour changes. And if they're fast enough, that seed is going to grow while they're collecting either the town moon uh, that's in the behind the shop or the moon that's in the pipe. And that's a strategy that we like to call daylight savings times abuse. It saves a little bit of time by not having to wait for the seed to grow. I think that was probably my like longest explanation of DSC. <laughs> like a hundred percent. I legitimately zoned out. I legitimately zoned out. <laughs> Can I read the whole copy pasta? That's true. I didn't. I didn't follow those guidelines. All right, let me do that real quick. Hold As on. Let see, me look at Twitter. Yeah. As you can see, both <laughs> runners are currently setting up their system clock to prepare for a trick called DSTA, which allows us to collect a quick moon in Sand Kingdom. This moon would usually take 20 minutes to grow, but by abusing the system clock and tricking the game into thinking it's daylight savings time, we can skip the entire growing process. Which is perfect because now these runners have officially started and the game is on! Hey man, why are you just reading chat? <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Great start. We have start guidelines? Right we have guidelines? <laughs> guidelines. Let's go. Actually, you're going to tell me that enemy gets paid and I don't. Man, what a blessing that would be. Real. 
Oh, those guidelines. Do they actually wait? Do they actually say don't reach out? I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, interact with chat. <laughs> it's probably like don't read out entire chat paragraphs. I, I don't know. I just remember talk about Mario, be PG 13, don't be a goofball. Like, like in, in the bad sense. You can be a good goofball. That's that's just me anytime I'm in the commentary booth, so I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright, hopping on into this frog room. Some very nice frog vectoring from both of these guys. Pretty just solid cat start. Yeah, just check the guidelines. It doesn't mention anything about interacting with chat or reading chat. <laughs> the power move. Wow, Dansta literally just like pulled back a second from the topper fight. That's wild. They're like basically synced now. Yeah. This is a very good start to playoffs. Very good. This is delicious. That is a 217 or so cap for both runners. Absolutely solid start. I put the command in chat because I'm reminding myself of how much money is in this pool because we have a pool for the uh, for this tournament. That is On true. That we have a link. It is very true. This tournament is fueled by a community funded prize pool. Right now, if I'm correctly, we're a little over a hundred dollars. And for Round those who have donated, let's go! Heck yeah! You know, for those of you who have donated, thank you so much. Like, we really appreciate it here at the CCG. It will be split between uh, first place, second place, and third place. If you want to give back to the SMO community for putting on this amazing show and uh, awarding these cool runners like Dance to going for Dino Skip Skip and nailing that first jump, you know, you can drop a little cash. Also, we're still very behind the uh, 70 star lead. Pool, which is at five hundred dollars. That is true. Yeah. Very good heart placement there from Dance. I don't think I've like actually really noticed any runners doing that before. But that does not dance the a couple extra coins. Neat. All right, and that's two Madame Brutal fights out of the way. First boss of the first playoffs. Nailed it. All right, dance to here. Gonna be going for chest clip. Looks great. Oh, that is true. I guess Topper is technically the first boss, but I don't know. It just feels like a smaller boss since there's no moon. Speed also going for the chest clip. Good. All right, looked a little low, but was in fact able to bounce back into a little bit the bounds cleaner. above the bounds. A little bit cleaner than Dance does, who did actually take a dip into the uh, waters that exist out of bounds there. There's so much funny water in the Cascade Kingdom if you put yourself out of bounds. There's so much funny stuff in Cascade if you put yourself out of bounds. That is also true. <laughs> Just Cascade, <laughs> Cascade is like, it's got a lot. a lot of walls and stuff. 
It's got a lot of walls. It's got a lot of water. And that that water kind of just extends a little bit. For yeah. The good. It's like back to the SM64 days where it's literally just a plane of water. <laughs> so true. Dance to it with the funny cam. Nice. Looks like both runners should be good for DSTA. You're going to see Dance to going for reverse town here. Seed. Seed? I mean, I'm missing a letter there. Speed will also be doing reverse town. <laughs> And they did just plant a seed. Yeah. Nice roll into the pipe there from Dansta. Very good. So far, only real difference is that ESS that Dansta went for. Yeah, both runners so far have been playing pretty clean. No major mistakes so far. Other no! than like Log, but Dansta getting a little bit of a chaos dive there. I believe, I believe that's the term. I'm forgetting, but it's not a chaos dive. I always forget him. <laughs> but Speed also missing the Hano bird. Oh dear. They are both struggling with the bird. Speed! The bird it's is running away! away! Oh, fine. All the way back into town! Oh no. I think that's the most unfortunate bird I've seen in the Pro League so far. Very unfortunate for Speed. Wow. Oh, and Speed into the pipe! That was oh, an no! accidental pipe! <laughs> <laughs> Wild. That. Wow, okay. Yeah, that is gonna be a much larger uh, time loss for Speed. Man. That threw quite the wrench into this run, into this race, honestly. Both, both sides. Dance to with a nice reverse Jaxi there as speed. Gonna be getting that Dram. And so far, danced off to a good start. But, you know, honestly, dives, dives like that are the reason why I try to make sure that Mario is, like, facing the way that I want him to before I even touch the dive button. And also... It makes me, it's one of the few reasons why I prefer playing with the GameCube controller, because I know for a fact Mario is going to dive where I'm pointing. That is, I don't have, like, a what do you do for point. motion controls? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I have the kind of GameCube controller where I have motion controls. Those exist? You bet. Both the, uh, the cruddy Power Ray versions that I had to replace probably every three months or so. And, uh, what is it, new NYXI controller? That one's nice. I I'm like those. Used to that, I I'm still know. getting used to the NYXI Spin controllers because they register as Joy-Cons. So when I'm running, I'll occasionally just get a random down throw, and it's like, ah, yeah, nope, didn't want that. Didn't want that at all. Oh, no, absolutely, Saren. Yeah. The upgrade <laughs> to this other controller is so much better because I haven't had to buy a new controller. <laughs> Whereas Power A, I had to replace it every few months, and that sucked. So much stick drift for no reason. The both runners making it through the platform clip. Very little issue. There we go. Sand Kingdom now finally over for speed. Dance is going to be coming out of it with quite the lead.
Triple jump late clip coming out for Dansta. He's not going to be able to make it. Ooh, having a little trouble lining up the normal clip there. We'll get it third try, thankfully. You know, it's nice. I just looked over uh, I looked over at the stat sheet, and before the race, it said there was uh, no data from Dansta, but now it looks like it has connected and it is live. So we do get to get a nice live comparison between the two runner splits. Oh, that looks good for speed. I saw the upwarp. Ah, oh, we nice. both have nice. no idea what to look for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On a clip that close to the wall with the back kind of a camera, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I tried. That's for sure. I did also see the upwarp, so I was like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's right. <laughs> the upwarp is always very convincing. Yeah. Dancing going for the camera strat. Nice. And while Dansta may be leaving Light Kingdom here, Speed has thankfully saved a bit of the time by getting uh, a faster clip out of bounds as well as yeah, just some pretty clean movement in general. I mean, we are coming towards Wooded, which is a very um, dangerous kingdom. There's a lot in Wooded. Wooded has so much movement in it. And while it does, on the one hand, it seems like it's kind of a compact kingdom, there's like a lot of traveling going on. Oh my gosh, I, I genuinely just today, literally today before this race, I was watching my uh, favorite SMO2 player speedrunner, Gorgonim, and you can angle the camera and actually do a cappy jump where or bounce and you just land on top of the rabbit. Rabbit doesn't even get a chance to move. Damn. And I had not seen that before and I was like, yo, that is sick. Yeah, there are a lot of cool move. Uh, there are a lot of cool strats in 2P. Probably one of my favorites is actually doing the shards moon in luncheon. Oh, dude, yeah, that is so sick. I think Gorg actually started to incorporate that into his runs too, which is nuts because he is one person controlling two controllers. Right. Dance to going for nut clip. Looks good. All right, gonna be coming out of bounds here. Nice, nice. Oh, speed taking a little bit of a spill there. As Dance to gets a triple jump off the top of the ramp. Very nice. couple of fans in the chat disappointed that there was no long jump off the run uh, off the ramp speed having a little bit of trouble landing on Cappy but does somehow land on that fire bro Nice triple jump from Dansta onto the rail. Does make it. Very good. As we see the good old 7TV emote. Dansta can be making it across there. Oh, my God. 
Hello? Hey, welcome back. Great, now I can't hear anime. I can see the I can see the stream. No! I'm just gonna restart Discord. I'll be right back. Oh no, cult commentator being obliterated by Discord. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Let's go! Somehow my sound got muted during all that time. Dang. What an event. I, I didn't even press that button. <laughs> Come on, Discord. What are you doing, you silly? No, but like my computer's sound. Like not just in Discord, like my all of my computer. Oh gosh. <laughs> I, I just noticed the symbol that was like your like the, the sound is muted on the sidebar and I was like, wait. Shouldn't be there. That can't be right. Alright. Well, welcome back, regardless. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of fancy movement there from Dance though. That was neat. Going for the triple jump clip. Mm. Not gonna be getting it. Tried to go for a retry on that as well, but hit it on the way back. Yeah, just not enough movement there. But able to get a nice cycle on the fuzzies regardless. And that's going to be wooded for dance stuff. Not too shabby. Speed now. Going to be heading on into flooded pipes. I am curious to see what the time difference is now. But... We need having some trouble in the pipes as well. On a completely unfamiliar cycle now, it's like kind of improvised here. Unfortunate. All right, that's gonna be wooded for speed as danced. Uh... Entering Cloud Kingdom, ready for that Bowser fight. Getting a beautiful cloud boost. It's about to say the same. <laughs> you don't only see good cloud boosts, so just, you know, good to point out. Yeah, it's it's not even that really easy of a trick either. I always look at it and I go, "Ow." All right, I'm quickly checking the stat sheet, and unfortunately, there is definitely a good chunk of time lost there in Wooded. Dance to now about 40 seconds ahead of speed here. Almost an entire Bowser fight, but not quite. Both runners... Luckily, gonna be getting those hint art coins. It's always nice. Won't have to get those coins later in Metro. Great butterfly moon. Yeah, Dance is starting off Lost Kingdom, getting that single jump butterfly. Probably, honestly, one of the scariest, probably the scariest moon in Lost. A thousand percent, especially when you go for the more advanced strats. If you mess up, you're probably gonna die. Make sure there is a little bit of a platform down there if you can get yourself to go that way, but other than that, it's still pretty sketchy. Dance to flubbing on the kleptomaniac movement. Nice triple jump from a speed there. Oh no, Dansta going for cage triple there, but unfortunately a little too far to the left. Going to be hitting that cage. 
And landing it in the poison. Luckily, the cage is open now. Dance can just grab it real quick like. Oh, I do not like that angle dance. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. Two deaths. That last death, not as impactful as the one before it, but that does. Yeah, that is unfortunate. There we go. Speed at having a, a much better finish here on Lost. Going to be saving all of that delicious time that Dance to unfortunately dropped from those two deaths. Yeah, definitely a cleaner loss from Speed. And yeah, the pretty much stands to saying what I thought was the case, that you have to die there pretty much. It's it's really hard to recover. Um because of the you can't land on the bridge after you die. It's like those active again. Nah, but you can land back on the tree stump. It's not or, fast. Well not though. the stump itself. But yeah. That's not fast though. True. You're trying to get not back as on. Fast. The fastest area would be to get back to before the bridge starts. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both of both strategies though of staying alive there are not, you know, any movement that any way to practice that anyone's practiced. I mean, there's no way to... I've literally seen people survive that. Right. <laughs> oh, speed, speed, speed! No! Oh, man. Not 100% sure. But ha oh. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Saw the controller connection screen just pop up for a second. Oh. Speed almost doing it again. Jeez, man. Very sketchy. Just not getting a triple jump, but he's going to still make it across the gap this time. But he's going to have to do the small jump up to the um, moon's the girder sandwich. Ah, uh, that is unfortunate. Oh, what is... no, and Speed missing the dive, too. No, all that time saving lost. My Metro sucks. <laughs> My Metro. Speed gonna be going for Goomba Fudge here. Nicely done. Hey, someone else called it Goomba Fudge. You know it. I got the you. It's proper name. <laughs> the I proper do genuinely. Oh, name. Speed! Speed, please. Ah. Please, Speed! I honestly genuinely do like Goomba Fudge over Goomba Heck. It's more fun. It just sounds better. Exactly. Well, while we were bothered by Speed of taking it, all those spills and bonks in the tower, Dansta has already cleaned up with the Mecha Wiggler, and we'll be moving on to Demetro, the better part of this kingdom. It's a preference thing from what I understand with the swearing. I've had fun. <laughs> I, I have had Kokami videos in here before the swear. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not supposed to swear too much. Danced it with a really nice drive by there. Oh my. What are these hitboxes? <laughs> these hitboxes suck. I love skipping this boss terrible boss the design is very cool like i will admit 
I love the concept and the idea of the boss. The fight itself, garbage. Alright, Speed, finally out of Night Metro, joining Dansta in the daytime area. All those dark clouds have gone away now that Bowser is out. And we can properly enjoy the city and its music. I'm low-key shocked that that drama actually worked, because that was a really weird cap placement, but hey, if it works, it works! I was in the same boat, it was like a weird angle to be putting it at, but I, I it, it's pretty far up there. Like it actually, it, I wasn't really doubtful that it would have worked, but it just, it definitely was unusual. Oh, speed, not quite getting it. That dram there with the cone. Dance to finishing up the building. Ooh, not quite getting what he wanted there. Gonna have to default that to a long jump. I'm getting odd uh, taxi cycles here. Ooh, dance stuck. Wow, that was really close to the edge. Oh my gosh. Alright, Dan's going for the people's room. He's doing a return at bounce there. Bouncing off the people. Will make it. Very nice. Gonna be a good reverse people's room there from Dance to He is out of there. Very nice. Oh. Speed not uh, not having the best tower climb there. Started out good, finished a little sketchy, but still going strong. No reverse people's room attempts coming out from speed. Dansta, hopefully leaving a, a little bit of that snow for Toad. You know, Toad did put all that snow up as a barrier to that blizzard. Good, good. Leaving at least half of that. It's always nice. Ooh, not quite getting the fun movement or quicker movement there from Dansta. We'll just have to wall jump off a couple of those boxes.
All right, Speed now joining Dansta in the Snow Kingdom. The lead has increased to one minute, 28 seconds, but there is still some more Odyssey action to go. Anything can happen in a race. That's what I hear they say. They do say that. Very good triple jump there from Dansta. Gonna be absolutely capitalizing on that wind boost from the Blowy Joey. Oh, and very good at Spiny Manip as well. Speed breaking every box on the way to the first moon. Yeah, second minutes now. It was kind of fun. You don't get to hear that animation too often, and uh, Speed just kept it going with all those boxes. <laughs> Pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. Dance Tech gonna be grabbing the Story Moon, I believe. Is he setting up for ICC? Yes, he is. Ooh, here we go. Really fascinating to see runners starting to put this in their runs, honestly. Ooh, good call there. And a first try ICC. Let's go. Speed going to be failing a, on the Spiny Manip. They have really good ICC coming out from Dansta. Going right into the Snow Dram. Makes nice. it. Nice. Overall, wow, that was that was a pretty darn clean Snow Kingdom here from Dance, though. That was very beautiful. Speed going to be making sure to take it nice and casual here. A slight Goomba vectoring. Very good movement. And with that, Dansta is going to be in the Seaside Kingdom, and I'd like to take just a quick little moment here. I want to remind you guys to make sure that you are staying hydrated, drinking some water, getting those good fluids into your system. It's very important to stay hydrated. setting up for Snowdram here. Ooh, and just barely making it. Let's go. Saren, please drink some water. <laughs> Hopefully you have drunk some kind of liquid if it hasn't been water, but water is definitely still the recommended. <laughs> You know, you got Mario in this kingdom, surrounded by a lot of sparkling water. So, uh, I don't know, I feel it's probably a good time to get some water in you. Dancer should be getting fish dips here, and it looks like he will. Gonna be staying out of bounds after grabbing that moon. Very nice. Big breath, my... My old uh, thing that I say of it's, it's one thing to get out of bounds, but you gotta stay out of bounds. Yeah, it's the hardest part for sure. Like, not even with fish, like, it's very, very apparent in the fish dips, but there are definitely a few other moons where that's super important. Yeah. 
And I guess just like this fish clip too, it is still entirely possible to accidentally get too close and clip back and bounce. And just like that, Dansa is going to be out of... I have no... Seaside, Seaside. wow. I have Seaside. no idea how that just slipped. Dang. <laughs> Dang, dude. I... All I could think of was hydration and water. I have no idea why Seaside <laughs> just couldn't pop into my brain. <laughs> it just... It did not. <laughs> Well, Speed gonna be able to get their fish dip correctly. Oh, man. It's okay, Dance. I got you. I didn't say it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Dance only has one rule for is, is it a good seaside commentary or not. There's only one rule. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. The The other thing I was thinking about, too, is that, like, in my splits, I literally call Seaside more hydration, so I, I'm sure you can uh, apologize. I'm sure you can understand where I was coming from. <laughs> oh, nice cat bounce there from Dansta. Very good. Gonna be setting up for Spiritless here. Excellent jump. We'll be making it first try. Very nice. Nope. Oh, just a minor bonk getting out, but it's fine. I love rolling on that specific stretch of rock because it's literally, there's so many ridges and things and you should not be able to roll up it at all. But you know, Mario gonna Mario and hitboxes are funny. So you get to roll across it. Ooh, speed barely making it up there. Thankfully, no bonks over the lava. Let me grab him that moon. Speed setting up for his spiritless attempt. Ooh, still gonna make that first try, but. Oh, that was real sketchy. Yeah, it hits the lava on the way towards the, uh, the side room. Man. All right, dance to finishing up there with a pretty clean forks room. Can't wait to hear the music once speed gets there. I do very much enjoy the athletic theme in this game. Probably one of my favorites. Good speed maintenance with the turnip there from Dance Deck. Gonna be getting that turnip throw. Nope. Speed having a little bit of trouble by the pot there. Got some awkward movement off of the NPCs. Yeah, that was a pretty funky bounce. <laughs> Good stuff, I tell ya. All right, speed now into the Forks Room. Super Mario Odyssey athletic theme. One of my favorite athletic themes 
in the Mario series. Ah, so cool. I love the fork stream. It's so fun to watch. Damn, so getting ready for that invisible block a jump. We'll make it. That's good. Using that rainbow spin just to make sure they make the gap. As he's now entering the lava bowl room to get the last few moons. Ooh, just being not able to get that jump off to get that first turnip in there. One more moon and luncheon for dance to hear. Speed going to be going into the shop to quickly buy a moon. Really, some really nice movement there from the turnips. Speed comes up to the invisible lock to jump. Dansta is ready to move on, and we'll be moving on to the Rune Kingdom. Oh! Speed just ever so slightly missing that coin block. Oh man, just revealed the one coin block. And oh, it's no, not, it's not a good dive either. Got a bad dive, but also locked into the movement of. Leaving the shop where you get the box. Oh man. You don't need it right now. You're just going for another invisible off jump. I, I feel that though. Sometimes the muscle memory just kicks in so hard. Just right. like you really do. <laughs> oh, dance the uh, not freeing Toad yet. All right. Okay. I was about to say, I might have an invalid run here. But he freed Toad. It's all good. Oh, an unfortunate booty burn there for speed. So going to be finishing up the dragon fight here pretty shortly, making it all the way to that third phase with uh, not too much of a delay. Didn't really see any major mistakes from Dance to here. Speed going to be grabbing that last moon from luncheon and will be heading into the ruined kingdom himself. We didn't mention before, this is the very first playoff match for the Super Mario Any% Pro League. There are going to be a few more matches later this week, but for a first match, you know, it started out pretty strong. Some banger action happening.
speed also making sure to free Captain Toad there. While it is not necessarily a rule, it is something that you love to see. It's always good. It is a rule. That Captain Toad free. It's a rule. And don't want your run to be invalidated by not freeing Captain Toad. This is starting off Bowser's Kingdom. Nice movement up to the ogre. I could sometimes go wrong. So. Oh my gosh, can it? <laughs> yes, it can. <laughs> I have seen. Oh my goodness very good chunk of spills trying to get over to the ogre. Yeah. Oh, speed. Still actually taking a little bit of damage there. Unfortunate. Oh, that's no! really bad. That's really bad speed. Yeah, he Ooh. can't take the damage boost to get to this area a bit earlier. Should still have enough time, but is is awkward. <laughs> Just oh, as the dragon was sliding back up. That was cutting it really close. That was very sketchy. Ooh, Dance to not quite getting the height that he needed for that jump. Or for that dive correction. Ooh, well, not quite going to be getting birdless here, unfortunately. Not quite. All right, and that's going to be speed out of Rune Kingdom here. Excellent. Both runners going to be uh, duking it out in Bowser's Kingdom. Dan's still going to be nailing Bowser Dram there. No, that's or mistakes. That is good. There we go, Dan's still going to be going parry at first for this fight. Ready to do Star Bomba. Excellent. today ah uh, unfortunate internet do be silly sometimes it is mm -hmm. unfortunate <sighs> all right and a quick Rabbits here from Dance to Harriet and Topper just absolutely decimated. Speed gonna be saving a little bit of time there with the cleaner shards. Not a good ending though, unfortunately. Just a slightly cleaner shards. <laughs> the small smidge.
Right, we've got Dance to coming on in to the mecha fight here. Very important that he does not fall off of this mecha. It is very complicated and annoying to get back up. Alright, and speed, gonna be taking out Harriet there. And he will get target acquired here, and that will be the mech fight for Dance to Dance to just making that fight look like it's a breeze. Speed, both crates broken. Nah, he's just gonna go into the pipe. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Dude actually has some trouble grabbing them in the first place. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking for the tell that I've found. Or I, th I mean, someone else told me about it, but still. Mm hmm. All right, Dansta dumping all of his moons, the Odyssey, full of 124 moons. And he's heading on to the moon, the last kingdom in the speed run. As he comes into the chat, points to the crowd saying, this can 58. Interesting. Oh, speed, 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 no! Speed, no! You probably would have been good if you didn't jump there and panic. Heck! Lucina is ruined and Night Metro. All right, we are able to take out the last rabbit on the max speed. Going to be out of that fight. Dance to now. Going to be heading into the final Bowser fight of the game. Ooh, very nice movement there, too. That's pretty cool. It was new for my vision. I usually see them doing like a spin throw. I wonder which one's better. That's going to be two phases for dance, though. One more left. Speed going to be dumping his moons into the Odyssey, and with the power of 124 power moons will be heading off to the moon as well that was the word moon a lot in that one sentence it just it just kind of happened 
We are on the moon. <laughs> All right, and that's Dance to Done. With the final Bowser fight, there is only the escape sequence remaining. Only thing standing between Dance to and breaking this curse is himself. No, his escape sequence, but yeah. <laughs> Similar things as 2DSS is very much something that has to be done uh with a with a clean mental true true it's a very uh, tough silly thing oh and there's that. That. Yeah, just well. as i was saying too like i was about to say that <laughs> uh, I realized, like, Dance is not even playing this in mind of, like, I need to break the curse. He's playing with in mind of, like, what if I'm 58 this? Yeah. <laughs> and now that 58 is completely gone. But he's yeah. still still fine to <laughs> keep the lead going. Yeah, it's still fine to win, unfortunately. No As the commentator's can. curse cries come out in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for building a storyline, okay? Story is good. Yeah, Dance is still going for TDSS. I swear to gosh, Dance to please do not die again. <laughs> okay. All After right. You're failing it that much. It decides to just go into the 2D section. All right. <laughs> now, now I think Dance just wants to break the curse. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. All right, Dance is gonna get ready to get into the pillars, and let's see those cat jams. Oh, nice. Drunk spelling. Let's go. Yo, little bat strats? Okay. Ah, it must be how Dance to played so well. <laughs> Saren with the mod abuse here. Nice, nice. Dance of making that final pillar go down, breaking the block in the middle. Gonna be finishing it up here. Won't be getting the sub hour, but will be moving on to the quarterfinals. Let's go. Dance the uh, having finally broken the curse has made it past his first playoff I round. Know. I know my rounds. This is the quarterfinals. Moving on to semifinals. Ayo. All right, and the speed now heading into the 2D area. Ready to get a nice 2D skip, and he does. All right, let's get some more cat jams. Woo! Cat jams in the cat jam room. Or flip up steps. Those are also very acceptable.
No speed having to throw out one extra fireball there. Man, what was that camera? Jeez. Pillars. Successful, that's for sure. Oh, man. All right. That will be speed now finishing up this run with a 101 59. And we have Dansta now in the commentary booth. Dansta, congratulations on breaking the curse. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy. So overall, you know, that was a pretty good run. That was pretty clean. I think there are only like a few areas that I can even remember or think of where there was a small mistake made. How do you feel about that run? Uh, I mean, for not having played for a week and not like feeling that good movement wise currently, not bad. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Yeah, you know, you definitely you put on a good show, uh, even going for 2DSS a couple of times, taking it down. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted I wanted to try for the 58, and then I died like first try, and then um, I was like, I could get a high 59, but ah, whatever, let's just go for it. Uh, this is a couple more times. Fair enough, fair enough. You know, sometimes you just you just gotta go. I have go gotten for it, it a lot in the races, like way more than I should have. So I was like, ah, let's try my luck. Yeah, that's true. If we come on over to the uh, really cool stat sheet, we've gotten 2DSS 5 out of 21 times now. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> a solid 23% for a very, very tough skip. All right. Well, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, this is not the last match today but this is the last super mario odyssey pro league match uh later today we are going to have a super mario 64 pro league match and uh what's oh, gonna be a good one too i'm always excited to commentate these pro league matches here on the cool cat gang channel yeah and tomorrow we have we have backfish versus vgr better is that tomorrow oh i thought it was wednesday for some reason no wednesday is jamber versus g man that's right. Yeah. We've definitely got we've got a lot of Odyssey coming up, folks. It's good. You should uh you can drop a follow, stick around, and uh thank you guys so much for coming on in. Come on back soon. See ya.